Welcome, listeners, to Just Neapolitan. Today we have Floyd, Eddie, Maggie, and I'm your resident Riz God, Brian. The Rizza for Shizza? What is Riz Cat? Okay, let me clue the young A Riz God, no cap, yo. Riz. Oh, Stop no. it. Boo. No. Boo. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. First of all. I was wondering why there was getting I was getting no reaction. I had I needed the no cap part to get you guys. <laughs> yeah. That... Jeez. I was no, just it... confused about the Riz part. Like who who have you been talking to? Listen. Leave that child alone. <laughs> no. It's officially Riz Magan. Just the man on here. TikTok all day. <laughs> That's a yes, get him. Get Floyd. <laughs> well, yeah. you don't I see me time. using none in the language. Yes, but I see you using it to go to sleep every night. T. That's the same TikTok replays for the next six oh hours. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is secretly another intervention. This is this is not. <laughs> I think we've had like six on this podcast now. <laughs> I was going to say, it's just a regular intervention. It's not a secret. Yeah, no, yeah not a secret anymore. <laughs> it's, it's... We want you to know that we know that you know. Yeah, uh-huh. you know? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it. All right, I got to do the ad real quick, and then we can get going, all right? Okay, great. All right. This podcast is proudly brought to you by Fun. Tired of live service, always connect to games, trying to shove microtransactions down your throat? Sick of the same broken crap year after year? Try Fun. Fun is out now and available on PC, PS5, PS4, N3, N2, N1, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, Nintendo Switch, NES, SNES, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Atari 2600, Commodore 64, ColecoVision, Pong consoles, coloring books, touching grass, talking to your friends, reading a book, sleeping, and many, many more. Not compatible with Mac, nor Borderlands 3. Fun. It never went away, but now it's back for more. <laughs> nice. The fact that it's not on Mac really sells it. And yes. That's what really sells it. You is should that let me put a sidebar in there. Like... Mac users don't get to have any fucking fun. No. They're not no. allowed to have fun. They're, it's, they're not designed to have fun on. <laughs> With special notice of hate to Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought someone was going to point out that I uh, made sure not to mention Nintendo 64. Uh, I never had a 64, so. It was, that was originally longer, and I had like a 10-minute list of consoles, and I was like, <laughs> I can't do all that. That's too much. I just like that you mentioned who was not going to have fun. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like that's what really sells it. That's a that, real ad. <laughs> well, that that's the uh, you know that's the punchline. The rest is the setup. Yeah. You know. So. Hey, I played a few games on a Mac. Didn't last long. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, I made it work. I Are you gonna some... play that Hello Kitty game? <gasps> no, no, no. Island Adventure. <laughs> I was playing League of Legends on a Mac. Oh, I'm sorry. With a trackpad. Yeah, that sounds awful. That sounds terrible with a trackpad. Hey. I've been, I've been doing what I had to do for a long time now. Hey, I feel it. It's part of who I am. I do feel bad because I did cut the entire Sega section because I realized all I was going to mention is Genesis. Sega. That's a fight for another day. I never owned a Sega anything, so I can't speak for that. I am. <laughs> Compared to all of you, I am an infant. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm young. Are you younger than me? Uh-huh. Yes. I'm young in spirit. You don't even know my real age. Thank young you. at heart. Young at heart. Young That's in different soul. than what Eddie is. Young at to heart, say. old in brain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm in the spring That's time me, of my baby. Youth. Young, young right. in soul, old in body. <laughs> and attitude. And attitude, absolutely. <laughs> general grumpiness level. <laughs> Oh yeah, my back my feels grump- ancient. <laughs> that was me today. My and grumpiness still... level was at an all-time high today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When is it oh, not? I know why. Do you want to talk about what game you've been playing this week? Oh no, it's not because of the game. It was just oh no 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 no. I for some reason I had a hangover this morning, and at work I was uh living nightmare to these people. Oh. <laughs> some reason 
We know so, the reason. Yeah, yeah. He goes. He goes. I had a hangover, and can you believe that I could have been a menace to these people Wait, because I was. I, I was not <laughs> expecting to wake up with a hangover. Fuck you guys. Okay. Really? I I did not think I drank that much. So really, really. <laughs> I wasn't there for I was any there of this. I just heard about it. it. Have you finally reached your wall? Probably. Will we find hmm. out Sunday? I mean, Sunday well, is welcome, my birthday. Welcome, welcome to life. <laughs> uh, they only, it, your hangovers will only get worse from now on. Oh, well, yeah. I, I haven't had a hangover since. Hangovers. Yeah, had a hangover. Eddie, Eddie, I hope you get a hangover at my birthday. Last hangover I had was in the four local of old recipe days. Woo! Unfortunately, I know my limits too well. I get fucked up fast and I ride it out. By the time everybody's at their peak, I'm done. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Let's get up out of here. I was fucked up from the moment you saw me. <laughs> that's that's how I like to ride. I'm just like I hope somebody. I like to be put in situations where I can impress people. Hey, let's go shop for shop. I'll do anything you nope. want right now. But best believe I, you'll never see me drink anything else for the rest of the day. I feel like you're gonna be like that with a lot of my friends at my birthday party. Absolutely. Well, you know. The introvert I am will will cease for just just for you that day. Thank you. Thank you. I think <laughs> yeah, that's what alcohol is for. I yeah, will, exactly. <laughs> I will put on. No, I can naturally put on a show, but the alcohol will just help me do it better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm showing up yeah, to the party just I, like I, Lloyd. I keep heavy drinking to when I have a day off. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that day off. And I'm going to dress like Floyd for it. No, you won't. Is that your costume? No, 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 no. Wait, it's a costume party? Yeah. No, yeah, it's yeah. a... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, my no, God. I, I was half a, a Floyd I, party. I, I, I know. I know. But it just... It, it's fine. If it was a costume party, I'm out. But... Detective. <laughs> Brian, if I no, had a I Floyd understand. party, would you come? What? I don't know what that is, so... Let's I'm all not dress like Floyd. Anything. Let's just be as fancy as we can. <laughs> Oh no, I'm good. Hawaiian Thanks. shirts, first three and, buttons opened listen, up. I'm down anyway, with a Hawaiian shirt. Anyway, yeah, so what games has everyone been playing this week? Um, to no shock <laughs> to anyone, just Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> For me. You just played Nasty Drew. Oh well, you're right. Um, I played, <laughs> I played a Nancy Drew game that I've never played before on stream which is Nancy Drew, The Silent Spy, which is about Nancy finding out how and why her mom died. So that's really fun if you want to check that out. I wow, did what a also happy play... birthday present. <laughs> happy birthday. Her mom's dead. <laughs> so <laughs> I played that one on stream, and then I played one that I've already played on stream before with my sister because she slowly is... Well, she... She and I growing up are, were always into the Nancy Drew games, but as an adult, she has not played them. And now that I've played the majority of them, she's like, can we play one together that you've already played before? So I just sit and watch her play it. So technically, I didn't play this one, but I watched my sister play uh, The Haunted Carousel, which one of the characters in that game desperately needs therapy, like horribly, horribly needs therapy. Because both of her parents have died and her dad called her verbatim a party pooper stick in the mud. <laughs> and her dad just died. So that's great. That's an amazing game. But I have mainly been playing um, Tears of the Kingdom. And I just finished a huge main story quest line Uh which is very different from how it was in Breath of the Wild. Because in Breath of the Wild, when you go to fight Ganon, it's like a straight shot. Like, that's the end of the game. And now when you try to go fight Ganondorf, this is kind of a spoiler, so apologies to anyone. Thank you. When you go Everyone's to... already finished it. <laughs> exactly. When not. you When you tr- go to fight Ganondorf at the castle, it's not the end of the game there are side quests that you have to do after you try to fight him so that's where i'm at right now which is honestly very fun for me because i i was avoiding the castle for so long because i thought 
this is the end of the game. This is end all be all. And then I finally went to do it and it's not. So now I have a lot of other side things I can do and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Cool. So mine's easy, but before I do that, I do have to. I'm sorry. I forgot to do. I have a correction from last week. I just want to mm-hmm. do real quick. So last week I incorrectly remembered the game Deponia uh, when talking about Data Lake Entertainment yes. shutting down its development. <laughs> I, I was waiting. Yeah. <laughs> For some yeah. reason, in my head, I was seeing the game called My Time in Porsche. Yeah. Mm, completely different game. Yes. Which is not to be confused with the adult film My Time Inside of Porsche. Or if you were driving the car, no, no, which no. would be My Time in a Porsche. Uh, <laughs> oh and spelled God. differently, of course. <laughs> so, Deponia is a uh, point and click adventure game. So, still I've never heard of it. Yeah, I mean, never played it. But I I've have played it. My Time in Porsche. So, that, right. <laughs> that makes We know sense. that one. Yeah, and <laughs> I've just been playing GTA Online, and there's nothing to say about it. It's, it's GTA the same. Online. It's the same I mean, has it been for the last They've added 10 stuff, years. and they've made it easier to make money, finally. Um, I think because they probably figured out, hey, the people who are spending the money will still spend it, and the people who aren't spending it aren't playing the game anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, so, like, I've just been running around doing, like, errands for my businesses and shit and just getting money. And then spending it on other shit to make more money. But that's the whole fucking point of online. Basically, I'm trying to get uh, more missions unlocked so that if any of you ever join me online, if you decide to pick it back up again, I'm like, cool, we can do missions. And I unlocked them. I did all the pain in the ass shit so we can have fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's just been my like my time sink lately. I'm just like, what am I going to do? I'll do this for a couple hours and shut my brain off and drive up and down and deliver stuff and shoot people. Yeah, whenever I play GTA now, because I, I still haven't downloaded on my on my Xbox, so I'll hop on and do it sometimes. But I only get on the call's chaos. Fuck doing those missions, all that side quest stuff. I'm not here for that. I ain't trying to work while I'm not at work. If that makes sense. <laughs> trying to well, that's work. why the missions, because the missions yeah. are fun stuff. Nah. <laughs> I shoot yeah. people. You go to I, hell. That, the missions are all about shooting people. No, 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 no. Players. <laughs> Player hunter. Yeah, I mean, you can just tell us you're not interesting. It's okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, now I'm doing missions all day. <laughs> boring. Anyway. <laughs> oh, playing a game. So boring. <laughs> Speaking of sitting around doing missions all day. Playing missions all day, all day. yeah. I've no shit. Play- <laughs> I've... Been, I've Obviously, been playing Final Fantasy still. I also was going to say I was playing this new game, Exo Primal, but um, the fucking servers crash every five minutes. So, fuck <laughs> that game. <laughs> so, you attempted to play it. Yeah, I attempted to play it. <laughs> and it wouldn't let me. And it's weird because I, I, I think the game, the premise of the game is interesting enough where, like, uh, what's that? What's that one game that fucking EA failed at? All of them? But no, first of all, the Sim all they've done great at the Sims majority of the time. But uh <laughs> yeah, Sims no, 3 has it, the it was it was uh <laughs> Sims 2. Fucking it was like they had like Iron Man type suits in that game. Mm. What the fuck was it? Oh, Anthem. Anthem, yes. So basically, you have like these anthem type suits, but you're fighting hordes of dinosaurs. It's hilarious, and the uh, premise <laughs> and gameplay seems fun if I can fucking play it. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, but... when that starts working, I'll give a better review of it. But as of right now, trash. Wah, as of right wah. now, the review is untrash. Trash. <laughs> Unplayable trash. Sorry, it had to be you. Also, the Wait, character you the creation. The, the character creation is really sparse. It's trash. I hate it. It's like they give you no real options. It's oh, like, oh, is yeah. it? Yeah, it's, it's really bad. Because that's why you sent me, Floyd had sent yeah, me yeah. a picture of what his character looked like. 
but I had just sent him a TikTok of what was the game? Baldur's Floyd? Gate three. Yeah, yes. Baldur's Gate, which and is going to were... have amazing custom character creation. Yes, and so I thought he had been playing that because it looked very crispy. It was a very crisp game that he was sending me, and I was like, "Oh, how's the game?" And he was like, "Well, it would I." wouldn't know because i can't play it because it keeps <laughs> crashing uh happy fun times so sorry mm -hmm. eddie what you been playing well can, can i can i start this with a little story that leads into it yeah I so like you story know, time. i got into final fantasy you know check back a few episodes because floyd said let's do it and you know I play a lot of games by myself, a lot. And Brian, you know firsthand, I'll try anything. If it's an open world survival craft or anything of that nature, I'm going to play. This now, is as I've been playing WoW, you know, Floyd mentioned Final Fantasy so many times. I've said, you know what, fuck it, I'll finally give it a shot with him. I've played the game before. I have a max level character on a different server, but I want to play with Floyd and his friends because he brought it up. So I decided to come in, and, you know. We played, we started at the same time. And I understand, because I play MMOs a lot, I'm, I have a natural affinity to just zerg out and grind my way up to max level, or whatever the level cap is currently. So I did that, and, you know, I got past Floyd, and I told him, you know, I'm waiting on you up there, brother, come on, let's do it. And, you know, he's been playing, but he's been taking his time. And I've also been playing, so now I've done this thing where I just, right before we got started, just hit 60 with the second character now. So I've max leveled, for the moment, two characters while waiting on Floyd. And I'm going to see how many I can do before he's ready to actually play with me. So yeah, I've, I've just been playing Final Fantasy this whole time. <laughs> That's about it. Floyd, why don't you play well with others? That was a lot of words to say you've been playing Final Fantasy. You could have just said that. Oh, yes, I see why you're I, I did that. Others. I did that to show you that, that I, right spent there. More, I spent more time talking about me and you playing Final Fantasy than we've actually spent playing Final Fantasy together. Hey, we partied and, up once. No, every time that I've asked Floyd, what is he playing? He says Final Fantasy, and he's like, oh, Eddie's playing it too. And I'm like, oh, are you guys playing together? And he's like, no, but we run past each other all the time. Oh, that happened in the <laughs> beginning now. I haven't seen Floyd in like two weeks. We used to see each other all the time, but then, you know, he wanted to stay a squire in a knight's world, and it was hard. It's hard. Well, you just got to go to the fishing spots. That's where you'll, you'll find him. Yeah, exactly. The man loves to fish. So now, while I have you two here, would you like to take a bet on will I get this third character to max level before Floyd is ready to play with me? Ooh, I bet yes. What's the over-under? Um, it takes me about a week to max out. And by Floyd's level right now and the amount of experience I know it takes him to reach where I'm at, it'll take him about a week. So, I mean... Damn, but the pretty... but the issue is you're asking this question while he's here, mm -hmm, so that mm -hmm. that motivates him. I would okay. destroy everybody. Exactly, bracket. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so if you had like mentioned you... it when he wasn't around, it would be mm -hmm. different. But because he's around, I have I can't bet against him because he's just gonna do better if I do. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? Hold Maggie. <laughs> When me and Floyd were the same level at one point with my original character, I told him, I'm going to end up lapping you. And then I got to the level cap and I told him about it. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'll be up there eventually. And then I made a new character, which he knew about. And every time I got close to him, I told him, hey, I'm, I'm almost there next to you. He knew I was ahead of him. He knows this is a second character. And he still is doing this. So it's, it's a safe bet that he's going to fail you. Yeah, but when he hears that you're pitting him against yourself to other people, Floyd is absolutely going to put his 100 into it because he doesn't want to be wrong. Okay. Especially if, it, if it's not against just the two of you, there's me and Brian involved now too. He is absolutely 
going to try to put us all in the shitter. Like, he is Insider. absolutely going to try Insider to wreck info. everyone. In Insider info for you real quick. I'm on level 37 now. I only need 23 more levels to outdo him. I'm doing about four or five levels an hour. I was going to say, I don't know how the levels work in that game. Oh, and, in other played, words, so. with me playing, what I'm telling you, I could do it in one day if I truly wanted to. I get so bored of doing the same shit that I kind of just spaz out and go do other things for a while. But if I dedicated time to it, I could have been so much further down the road with many and plenty <laughs> of characters. I have a serious issue when it comes to these things. I want all the content and I want it now. The problem is I consumed it too fast, and now that I've made multiple characters, I've consumed it three fucking times in a row. I'm sick of it, and I'm only doing this because I'm waiting on Floyd because I want to play the newer content with him, not help him through it as I have to see a mission I hate for a second and third time. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen if I continue on past him further than where I'm at now. I'm going to take the long bet and bet on a tie. Yeah, there you go, Bri. All right, I will let you know the results of said bet. <laughs> so, you know how bad our timing is with recording all the time? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, the id showcase was uh, Tuesday, you know, the day after our podcast comes out. As mm -hmm. it, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Did anyone else watch it by any chance? No. Uh-uh. Of course not. <laughs> so, I just a couple of things that I'm going to mention that I saw. Um, so Everspace 2 is coming out, uh, day one of Game Pass, August 15th. I, I haven't even finished the first one, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> um, See the Stars, August 29th, pixel graphic JRPG, uh, made by the studio that made The Messenger. I never played The Messenger, but it, it looked kind of okay. But I'm excited because they have special guest composer... Yasunori Mitsuda, who, and this is the biggest one for me, did the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Nice. Ooh, he also did Chrono Cross good. and Xenoblade Blade Chronicles 3. Honestly, the dude's like, if you go and just look at all the games he's worked on, it's mm -hmm. been a shit ton. But the biggest one for me is Chrono Trigger. And I'm like, oh, that sounds fun. I needed a new, like, pixely JRPG in my life because I hate Octopath, so... <laughs> Might be fun. Jackbox 10 is coming out this fall. Woo! Mm -hmm. ba, 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 ba. Um, and then they did, they showed off uh, Scarlet Deer Inn, which I mentioned months ago. It's the game that has the sprites made um, from embroidery in real life. Mm. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. And it looks really pretty, even though it's in, it's in a pre-alpha right now. Mm. Um, I feel like it's going to be more like a Maggie game. It kind of... I don't know, it looks like story, kind of puzzly. Looks like there's some platforms, might be some enemies, but I didn't see like any real combat in it. I now, love puzzles. Yeah. And it, <laughs> I remember it's it's pre alpha, so Yeah. But no, so that that looks cool so far. And then um so this game's been out, but now it's coming to Xbox. Stumble Guys. Stumble Guys. Yeah, so what game does that name sound like? Fall Thumb, Thumb. Guys? Oh my like, gosh. That's crazy. It's exactly the game they're ripping off. It looks so much <laughs> like it. They didn't Don't even change Thumb the Thumbs? name. What's up? Are the are the characters the thumbs from Spy Kids? <laughs> the Thumb Thumbs? I didn't pay close enough attention to be okay, honest with you because I'm like I don't who the fuck needs this in their life we have we already have this yeah, yeah you were like so late <laughs> well it's been out for a while it's been on it came out on PC like probably a month or two oh after my Fall god Guys they even out. used the same uh huh Holy it's got like the same shit. games and shit in it it's it is the most blatant rip off of a game ever <laughs> I can't wait to play let's go downloading now that's that... all you buddy. But if that you want to play Fall wild. Guys, just to just come knock on the door. You play Fall oh my god, I down. love Fall Guys. I'm always down for a round. I just guys. won't play it by myself because I don't have fun by fall? myself. I'm sorry, wrong conversation. <laughs> uh, so we got some news, mm -hmm. and also, news. okay, so this one was also in the ID showcase, um, but I think it's bigger news if you have it on Steam. 
So August 17th, there's going to be an update for Vampire Survivors. Mm. It's I'm getting listening. a couch co-op mode. Whoa. With up to four players. We could do so that I know right three now. other people. They are also <laughs> updating the engine to deal with all the extra shit going on on the screen. <laughs> um, and, uh, oh, yeah. So, it, so the couch co-op is coming to Xbox. All that good stuff, which is already on Xbox. But the best thing there is Steam has the remote play together. And it will work day one with remote play together. What? Which means only one person needs to own the game. Not the game's expensive or anything. Because it's couch co-op. It's not online co-op. It is couch co-op. Right. I they don't have game. the online yet. They're not sure if they're going to do online. I would assume they will in the future. My guess is that the couch co-op was just easier to implement. So. Hmm. Okay. Right? I, I also have some news. Cool. Now, though, for the unfortunate sports listener out there, for the first time in my life, NBA 2K24 will be cross-platform. If you have any idea how big of a news that is. that That's actually, that is huge. Cause because yeah, we've been slowly asking we're for getting it. more of those. Mm -hmm. I've been it's the one thing we've asked for them like we know you're going to sell us the same game we get that part we play it clearly but can we play it with everybody else because you know as you get older everybody doesn't have the same system people like different consoles yeah and in I'm my case I'm not willing to spend that much to buy them all yeah you know exactly what? you are so right and because of that I'm so excited that now and you just can't hide it the gates are just open for everybody to play with each other, and for now, officially, there to be some cross-platform rivalries going on. It's going to be great for the game. It'll turn, you know, more or less populated areas. You know, it'll, it'll, everything will be great. It'll be great. Free love. Everyone play with everyone. <laughs> exactly. And for those of us who grind ranked basketball games, you know, Christmas is, is kind of like our day because... All the young children get it as a gift, whereas us adults bought it day one most of the time. And, you know, they like to come out there and we beat on them and get easy ranks. So I really... love the Christmas Day noobs. <laughs> I ah. love it. I love it. Call of Duty Christmas Day noobs mm -hmm. used to be the best thing in the world to shoot. Are we going eating, boys? We eating tonight. Mm -hmm. What a shame. But, yeah, that's the news I had. Nice. I have other sports news, so thanks for the segue. What? So... The UFC president, Dana, Dana White, um, during the announcement of UFC 5, the coming out, has teased that there's going to be a power slap game. Oh, my fucking goodness. I will be the champion? Yeah. That's the entirety of what I bothered to write down about that. <laughs> That's all I need to know, power slap. One is. button. I, That's just all anybody. Boom. Yeah. Oh, dude. No, there was, oh, there was this funny, somebody put that on TikTok. Um. I wish I had the whole article in front of me, but no, there was a, a picture of a PlayStation controller, but it just had an X button in the center of it and nothing else. Mm -hmm. And the tag was, got my custom controller in today for Power Slap. <laughs> let's, let's go. Yeah, let's not. Um, <sighs> oh, hey, Clockwork Revolution. So I we talked about this with the Summer Games Showcase, and Floyd, I know mm -hmm. you were into this one. So there's... Um, there's been some little bit of news about it, like, because it's been the whole, oh, it's like Bioshock Infinite, yada, yada. So Chad Moore, who is the game director, has said, it is a love child of Arcanum and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Mm. So those are two games made that Chad actually made with the now long, long defunct Troika games. Right. Um, and I actually love both those games. They were fantastic. They were, they were really good games. Yeah. They were buggy, but, you know, that was the era we were in. And then Brian Fargo, who is the boss of In Exile, uh, has been sure to assure that Clockwork Revolution is a true RPG with all the stats, crunchy details, and deep reactivity that we're known for. So, yeah. First person, steampunk, all that. So that's the, your Bioshock part. But, yes, mm -hmm. it's going to have huge RPG elements, big story, and customizable main character. And also that time travel mechanic, when I looked into that more, so you know, like in uh, Bioshock Infinite, 
it was kind of like here's an alternate reality of what could have been and what da 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 and they dealt with those two so this one apparently like this utopia that you're living in was created by someone using the time travel to already go back and change a bunch of events to make this city happen mm-hmm. so throughout the story what you're going to go back is go back and correct those events so then what should have happened takes place and that's where you start to see the city crumble so because in the trailer that wasn't like 100 percent, you know it didn't come across 100 percent. right yeah but yeah so i'm even more excited because i would have been fine even if it was like you know an fps with light rpg elements like bioshock made by in exile i was fine with that Knowing that Inexile is making it very RPG heavy, story driven, character driven, I'm uh, I'm in. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm with it. I was with it from day one, but yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's what I said. I was too. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't give a shit. You could just do like, it's technically Bioshock Infinite two, but we're making it, and I'd be like, all right, whatever, shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in lawsuit news. Oh. Yeah. So Niantic, oh, no. <laughs> developer of Pokemon Go, and that weak ass Harry Potter game. We don't talk oh. about that. We just talk about Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> is subject of a new lawsuit alleging the company has a system systemic sexual bias against female employees. Oh, so That's this sad. was originally reported by The Verge. Uh, there's also some around Kotaku. So if anyone wants to delve deeper, because I'm not, I'm obviously not going to do enough justice to all the information out there. Um. But it stems around pay discrepancy and lack of upward mobility. Um, in the lawsuit, describes Niantic as, and I quote, a boys club where men mentor and boost the careers of other men while leaving women and women of color behind. Ooh. So not so much that it's news as in it's something new, but news <laughs> as in the shit's finally coming out and coming to light and oh. yeah. lawsuits are happening. And I just fought for my Pokemon Go account. <laughs> <laughs> they made me okay i just want to say this real quick because we're talking Mm -hmm. about niantic i so i lost my email like i lost the rights to my email that i was using for pokemon go and so i emailed them and was like hey i still use this account but i lost the rights to my email so i need to switch the email and when I tell you, they made me fight for my fucking life <laughs> to be able to keep my Pokemon Go account. They asked, I thought I was getting scammed from the questions that they were asking me. I was like, there's no way that they're asking me this in depth, like, uh, like to the bones kind of questions. And I was like, I don't even know the answers to that because... I didn't take it that seriously. It's a Pokemon Go account. <laughs> like I did <laughs> I didn't take it that seriously. And I sent them the information that I thought was right. And they emailed me back and they're like, Your information is incorrect. And if you don't tell us the right information right now, you will never get your account back. And I said, Uh <laughs> I said See, you should have had a man <laughs> email them. <laughs> oh yeah. They would have taken you seriously then. <laughs> I literally was like, uh, I don't, I don't know. And they're like, well, if you don't know, then you'll never see your Pokemon again. And I said, please, I have a shiny Squirtle in there. <laughs> and I, I was like, please, I need, I need that back. <laughs> um, I eventually did get it back. So great. But hey, it's that just... one story has a happy ending. <laughs> it's just, it's interesting to hear about that, especially after going through this extensive procedure with Niantic and Floyd can tell you about it too. I was texting him about it. I was like, I, they want all this information from me and I feel like I'm getting scammed from the amount of detail they want just so I can make sure that I get my Pokemon back. <laughs> like I, I've never, I've lost connection to accounts before and they're just like, Oh yeah. Like just make sure you have a different email that we can link it to. And these people were like, what was the last Pokemon you were wa- walking with? And when did you start this account? How much money have you spent with us? And how much money do you plan on spending with us? <laughs> like all of this stuff. And I was like, Oh, that that's the um... one right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> have you made us money? Do we actually uh... care about you? No, that's what it was. That's what I was like. They're not going to give me my account back because I've never spent money in Pokemon Go. I've never bought anything. And they're like, how much money have you spent? How much money do you plan on spending? How much money do you think? And I was like, none, never. 
For no. For crazy payments of ninety nine ninety nine, you can have your shiny Squirtle back. I was like, my Squirtle. <laughs> they just no send you Squirtle. pictures of him being tortured. And I just turned him ransom. into, um, oh, fuck. What is, I am so bad with names. What is the second evolution? Uh, not uh, War Turtle. War Turtle. Is oh, it? Blastoise the, the oh, final? No, oh, no, no, no. You're right. I, I was right. You're right. <laughs> War Turtle. <laughs> <What>? Everyone's right. Because <laughs> I want to say War Turtle. Right, <laughs> I wanted to say War Turtle, but I thought that was the last one. But Blastoise is the last one. I yes. had just turned it into War Turtle. And so I was like, my shiny War Turtle. And they were like, gun to my head. They're like, what is this? <laughs> when did you start this account? And I was like, I don't know. It's been like seven years. How many steps have you taken with this War Turtle? <laughs> no, literally, <laughs> no, literally, they were like, and what was the last Pokemon you were walking with? And I was like, uh, Espeon. They were like, slap me across the face. They were like, wrong. <laughs> That's it. We're taking the child away. Uh, no. <laughs> Giving the war turtle Wild. to somebody else's account. Can't believe Niantic is really in there saying we don't love these hoes. That's why. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> okay then. But it was just funny that you brought that up because I didn't even think about Niantic. But now that I've gone through that exact experience, <laughs> <laughs> they do suck. <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. They suck. A, a, yeah. a first-hand experience. <laughs> Not as bad as... No, just as bad as Borderlands 3. <gasps> it was brought up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I, it it been got brought up. It was in the ad. It was. True. Oh, I didn't hear it in the I'm Under so the sorry. not fun section. I was That's really... okay. You'll get a chance to hear it again. It's in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget uh, Microsoft wow. won their case against the FTC. Oh, did they really? I haven't even yeah. been paying attention. I'm glad one yeah. Did. Um, but, you know, the FTC plans to appeal that, and they still have um, to appeal the CEO. Well, yeah, so, I mean, it, we're still, you know, yeah, it's still a long more way out. years <laughs> of crap. I mean, we all know they're going to get it. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. It's just all these agencies need to make it look like they did something. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the second one agency folded, the rest of them was going to be like, I right, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, which is probably why the EU was like, uh, we don't feel like wasting all this money on court battles. You're going to get this right. anyway. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Where in, in the States, we were like, we love wasting money on court battles. <laughs> Our country you runs on it. To, you yeah, I mean, to sue whoever you want. <laughs> as many times as you want. Forever. Yeah. Unless he gets thrown out with prejudice. By the, the, uh, you know what? I'm not getting into that. <laughs> right. Wrong podcast. I was podcast. about to go Wrong down podcast. a really dark, dark hole. <laughs> Wrong podcast. So, um, my last piece of, like, news. There's going to be EA is working <gasps> on a new game. And it's a, oh. it's, it's, it's a Black Panther game. It's going to be third person open oh. world. Right. Why did EA get it? I don't know. Why did they give it to a good publisher? <laughs> but they literally opened a brand new studio to do this. So, oh, um, yeah, that doesn't bode well for old EA uh, projects. No. Yeah, the the studio that's a game that's meant to name, fail. The studio's name is Cliffhanger. So, yeah. Oh come that. on! Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> cliffhanger now you're just giving it away <laughs> when you said ea i thought you were going to talk about how they're bringing uh unicorns to the sims 4 but this is no, fine too <laughs> I, I was gonna let you do that sorry right, that's a good segue for you maggie <laughs> anyway in the sims 4 they're bringing unicorns <laughs> That is actually the most interesting Sims news I've ever heard in my life. They, they, so The Sims 4 I'm just not being recently, hyperbolic about it. No, The Sims 4 just recently either released or are about to release. I am not at, that far up to date with um, a new expansion pack that allows you to have horses. Where you can ride horses and things like that. However, they still to this day, and mind you, The Sims 4 have been has been out since 2014 so almost 10 years this game has been in production now for the first time in 10 almost 10 years we can ride horses 
we still do not have cars. <laughs> <laughs> we soon. can we can own a unicorn. <laughs> we cannot ride in a car. <laughs> and I just want that to be stated because this is amazing like everyone is very excited that mm -hmm. now we have horses because uh, last year or the year before they introduced like a basically like a farming sim like a, an expansion pack where you can farm and you can have chickens you can have llamas you can have cows the whole thing we um, had llamas no before horses yes but no horses <laughs> okay. and a year or so later they introduced a separate expansion pack so even if you own the one with farm animals, you would have to separately buy the one for horses. I apologize for the strike of lightning and thunder yes, that just showed up just on my mic. <laughs> that loud <laughs> ass thunder. Clap. That was so fucking loud. And I looked and I'm like, oh, that picked it up. <laughs> apologies. Can't control the weather yet. Welcome Sorry, to Maggie, Chicago. please continue. <laughs> um. But the fact that, uh, well, the sky is also angry that you can't have all the farm animals together because you, you have to, you have to own them Even separately. Even God hates EA. Which is just, I mean, you know, The Sims has always been, it, since the dawn of The Sims has been something where you have to buy expansion packs, you know, to, to have everything together. But The Sims 4 has pushed it into the ground as far as they can um f with everything pretty much and yeah they just introduced horses to the mix and they just recently i i'm assuming it's not out yet i don't i don't think it's out yet but they just recently announced that there are also going to be uni unicorns in it um and again the fact that we can have y unicorns literally turn our horse in also we can be werewolves <laughs> You can be a vampire, a werewolf, what is a this mermaid. Game anymore? <laughs> you I can don't be know. <laughs> werewolf, vampire, mermaid, ghost, uh, witch, but you cannot drive a car. <laughs> well, ghosts don't drive cars, silly. Yeah, what about all the other ones? Well, I don't think werewolves do either. What about regular people? Who cares about them? There's ghosts and witches <laughs> and mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> so all you've done unicorns. is describe things that make me go hmm the sims you say there was there was a there was recently a um uh poll where it was like oh what would you like to see in the game next do you want to see really preppy clothing or really gothic clothing do you want to see really modern builds or really gothic builds and I had voted in it, and I voted gothic clothing but modern builds because I wanted to see where they were going to go with that. And they were like, okay, and the and the results are in. Everyone's like, okay, what, what are the results? You'll see when you can buy the next pack. Yeah, in other words, <laughs> we didn't listen to what anyone said. And we said, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're still yeah. waiting on... On the results of that, but I am an avid. I, I, I like to call myself an avid Sims player, but I've not actually opened up the game in a long time because the new EA uh, plays or games they had Origin. Origin is kind of gone now. Now they have the EA app for your computer. Um, it sucks ass. It's one of the worst things ever. Um, so trying to open up the game Some with it he, is... Some EA made sucks? No. I know, what? it's crazy. Um, and so I've not played The Sims in a long time, uh, because opening up the game is awful. But I am an avid Sims player, so hearing that kind of stuff is not shocking at all, but I'm also like, can we just get, oh, please, like, can we move on to the next thing? But also, I I probably am going to spend my money and get a unicorn in my game because I am who I am, so... Well, unicorn. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, no. It's, it's basically like... 
yeah, I'm mad, but take my money, bitch. Like, <laughs> it it, it, it is what it is, and what am I going to do? You know, not buy it? Of course not. I am going to complain while I'm buying it, so. That's, that's how I feel about, like, most Nintendo Legacy games. Like, fuck y'all, here. Yeah. You know what? Again? Okay. It must be a thing, because that's how I feel about any game. Does it Literally matter? ever. Uh, I know I'm going to so- regret this. Speaking about throwing more money at old games that were released a while ago. So Square Enix is considering more remasters of their older games. Oh my fucking goodness. Yeah, well, so here's the only reason I'm mentioning it. They have previously stated that the Final Fantasy Tactics team is incredibly busy at the moment. And there was a 2021 NVIDIA link that contained Final Fantasy Tactics remaster. And that leak has already been accurate with some games, including the Final Fantasy VII Remaster, Kingdom Hearts 4, and the Chrono Cross Remaster. So, I am unduly excited that I might finally get Final Fantasy Tactics. Woo! Okay, I'll let that one slide. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bothered otherwise. It's, it's, it's actually... <laughs> uh, hey, in lighter news, not only does Borderlands 3 suck... Yes. But apparently, so does the script for the Borderlands movie. Ah. There's a Borderlands movie? Yes. Yeah, it yes. was first announced I'm, in 2015. Oh. I'm kind of upset about that, but after, yeah, when they announced it and then you ain't heard nothing else about it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's going into production hell. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, I mean, go. Is it actually in production yet? Oh, it's been. Principal f- photography wrapped in 2021. Oh my. Oh my. They've gone through two years of reshoots and rewrites. This, this script has had almost a dozen writers on it. <laughs> and uh, Craig Mazin, who is the co writer and co creator of Last of Us, you know that really successful thing that's out on uh-huh. HBO? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's removed his name from the credits. Because <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with. He's this still shit. using a pseudonym, so he is still credited. So there, are, well, my assumption would be at this point, there's probably a, so many parts of his script that financially it wouldn't that, make sense yeah. for him to be all like, uh, no. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, he, he definitely said... doesn't want his real name on it anymore. Oh shit! Oh yeah. So in January 2023, we got a new director, and they did more reshoots, and also brought on a new writer to write more scripts. That was just earlier this year. The movie's not coming out. Yeah, no. It's the it's gonna be the Duke Nukem Forever of movies. <laughs> and also, remember the movie's so old, it's about the plot of the first game. Oh yeah. Which shouldn't require almost twelve writers. That plot was not very thick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Border, you, Borderlands Three sucks. You literally have an outline, like <laughs> Right? <laughs> Like, come on. Uh, I will say, though, fairly star-studded cast. I don't know how these people would fit into this. So see if you can wrap your head around these people. Uh, Kate Blanchett, yeah. Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Whoa, okay. An interesting... Yeah, right? Kevin Hart is going to be... <laughs> that's the... I Wait, mean... that's your first time hearing it? No, I remember hearing it when it first happened, and I was like, "That's fucking stupid," and nuked mm-hmm. it from my mind. Yeah, <laughs> that 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 is a cast of people that don't make sense to all be in the same movie to me. I mean, like Kevin Hart and Jack Black, I feel like you could kind of get get away they, with right. They've like, done or Kate Blanchett and Jamie Lee Curtis. Like that's what I'm saying. Like the all four together don't make sense to me. Right, but Jack Black and uh, Kevin Hart have done movies together. Yeah. yeah, but even Jamie Lee Curtis, I feel like, could do a comedy, but I feel like Kate Blanchett is really <laughs> the outlier here. Yeah, for she's me. the eyeball like, in that one. Yeah. Like, wh- what? Well, also, I'm like, who's going to be who? Yeah, exactly. Because, okay, so Kevin Hart definitely going to be Roland, right? Mm-hmm. Jack Black, I got to assume, is Brick. Right. Jamie Lee, what, is... Uh, uh, what's her name? Huh? Jamie Lee is Mordecai? I don't know. I'm just saying. Like... <laughs> <Is> it... 
Well, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I don't. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing, the whole reason that was in my notes is to shit on Borderlands some more. But you know, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to take up brain space. Hilarious. I can feel my brain getting smoother the more we talk about that movie. <laughs> Too smooth. <laughs> Too smooth, boy. Um, Too smooth, boy. Okay, slightly sad news. Uh, for me, I don't know how many other people care about this, but does anyone know Larry Herb, a.k.a. Yes. Major Nelson? Yes. Yeah, so he is leaving Xbox after 20 years. He he very recently announced his retirement. Oh, no, but the Xbox podcast, right? What? Yes, <laughs> I know, and the weekly, the Major Nelson updates, which like were such a huge part of my like Xbox gaming, um, which uh-huh. unfortunately they don't pop up a lot on the new system, but every time they did, I always watched him. Like he, that's Mister Xbox to me. Fuck right. Phil Spencer. <laughs> it's Larry Herb, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I guess he's he's gonna take the summer off and then see what you know. He may do something next, but yeah. So I wish him the best, whatever he does. But that's just that's kind of sad for me. He was such a huge yeah. part of like Xbox to me. Um, I have this thing on the Tiny Build CEO. And um, shitty stuff that's going on there. I don't want to get into it. So we're going to skip that. But I suggest that anyone who's interested in seeing how you can fuck up your workforce by uh, using AI. Go ahead and read on that. Uh, Okay, so uh, going back to the Borderlands movie, right? Oh, no, but I don't. (laughs) Okay, fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. uh, They have no one cast as Brick or Mordecai. Oh, fantastic. Kate is Lilith. Kevin Hart is Roland. Mm-hmm. Jack Black is Claptrap. Jamie what? Lee Curtis is Tannis. Okay, so I those kind of make sense to me. Claptrap? Yes. I can uh-huh. see Jack Black as Cat Claptrap. Oh, yeah. He has the energy for it. I, I'm Definitely. That. Definitely. That's actually well, much also... better than being Brick. <laughs> the Rock's going to be Brick. <laughs> the Rock. But if the movie's done, exactly right, we're missing. Two we don't key know. Characters. Yeah, we uh-huh. don't know. <laughs> yeah, unless they just didn't put them in. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> That's for when the movie comes out. That's a discussion for when the movie. Comes I, out. I, Listen, if it I'm, comes out, I'm not watching it, but I will shit on it. <laughs> that 2028 what if we do, premiere what is going to be great. What if we do a, a a group showing? We all have to watch it together, and we'll do the podcast while we're watching it. Uh, let me go get my Jolly Roger, and we can do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't ever break the law. No, but yes, do that, not. Floyd. <laughs> do that. You know what? You guys, we should go see it. And I have no idea where Batavia, Illinois is. We should go there because they're going to be a big, They're going to be opening up a theater called the Imagine Theater, mm-hmm. which is said to have a giant screen. And when you say giant, when I say giant, it's 94 feet wide. Yeah, I'm not into that. And it has 90. Come on. Come on. No, it's, Just so borderless. It's too big. Just, There's no point. <laughs> he did recline her seats on a front row. <laughs> Shut up, Floyd. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't even go see Dune Part Two at a, at a on a screen that big, and I actually want to see that movie. I had a hard time getting through regular Dune. That's your problem. <laughs> Sorry, them fighting words, problem. bro. <laughs> it's America's problem. It's like my favorite. Now, you know what? Not getting into it. Um, Not hey, now. An update you can see coming from miles away, at least three miles away. Payday three will always be online. Oh wow! I don't know what yeah. that is. Uh, so it's a team based. You're criminals, and it's just like you're robbing stuff, and then you get upgrades, oh. and you buy new stuff, and it's just a fun mm-hmm. little team based thing where you, you okay. yeah you got to rob, and you know you got to. You can do things stealthy, uh, or you can fight the cops off. It's it's just like Payday 1 and 2 were... Well, Payday 2 especially was really good. And Payday 3 is coming out, and Floyd and I were excited about it. 
I'm less excited about it. Thankfully, we have good internet, so. Mm-hmm. Couldn't be me. No, not Couldn't me. Couldn't be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then, Sorry, to wrap it all up, in extremely stupid news, Assassin's Creed Mirage will have a tie-in haptic vest, you know, so you can feel when you're getting punched or stabbed oh, or have a chest my. wound. Taking the VR to the next level, baby. That's yeah, awesome. well, oh. fuck that. Because unless I'm plugged into the fucking Matrix, I don't need to feel that shit. <laughs> I will fix stab Floyd a few times. If if I'm sitting there trying to play a game and drinking a beer, and I feel like I'm getting punched in the stomach, you can go to hell. My only guess <laughs> is that Ubisoft decided that playing Assassin's Creed games is so painful. Why not go for broke? <laughs> Five hundred bucks for that shit, too. By the way. Of course. Haptic vests. We can't make money off our shitty games, so for the few people that buy our shitty games, let's make sure they give us more money. Uh, see, I would, I would agree that's with you been. on that. I agree with you on the shitty games part, but they definitely sell them hoes. They, they be selling. <laughs> but they haven't, Floyd, which is why the company's in trouble, and they've had to lay off a shit ton of people and stop doing a ton of games no they've canceled they, they, so many projects this year yes because the only game that sells is assassin's creed but the last two didn't do well yeah they did fine <laughs> not not by triple a gaming standards <laughs> you forget how many copies you have to move to actually make those games profitable mm. like indie games sell 100 copies you probably you know didn't even pay yourself back for the time you invested but you've made some money Yeah. Anybody got anything else? Nope. No, that was everything I had. Nope, I'm tired. Uh, I mean, we could talk about games coming out, but I don't know what the point is. Nothing's coming out till August. Yeah. And that's for next time. Well, also, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it, eh? Yeah. yeah. All right. We love y'all. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.